Hi everyone, Mike here. I thought I'd share a solution to a question that I was asked last week. The user had a list of names that they'd extracted from a database and they wanted to split them into multiple columns. Easy, I thought, and started to formulate the solution in my head. But then they threw in something else. The data included first name, middle name and surname. And some people had more than one middle name. Now, as with many things in Excel, there's more than one way to do something. And in this video, I'll show you how I resolve the problem using Power Query on Windows. For those interested, in next week's video, I'll show you how to solve it with formulas. If you want to download a copy of the demo file, you could do so from the link in the description below. I'm going to start by selecting one cell in the data and then go to the data tab and click on from table or range. Make sure it selects the correct range, which it has here, A1 to A24. But just as importantly, make sure there's a tick in my table has headers. Here, it's not recognized the word name as a heading. So I need to tick that box and then click on OK. This will automatically open the Power Query Query Editor. And from here, I'll click on Transform Split Column by Delimiter. A delimiter is a character or a string of characters. I want to select the space as the character. Sometimes it automatically detects that, sometimes it doesn't. And I want to set the split at to rightmost delimiter. So what it will do is it will split that column into two based on the rightmost occurrence of the space. And this will put the surnames into a separate column when I click OK. Then I want to split the first name and the middle name. So I make sure that that first column is selected and I click Transform, Split Column, by delimiter. Again, it's picked up the space and this time I want to select the leftmost delimiter and click OK. If we don't want the middle names, I can delete the column. So I can click on that column with the middle names in it and then right click and remove and that will remove that column. But in this example, I do want to keep that middle names column. But that what I do want to do is rename the existing columns. So double click on the first column and change it to first name. Double click on the second column and I'll change this to other names. And double click on the third column heading and change that to surname. I also want to sort this table based on the surname. So I click the drop down arrow just to the right of the surname heading and select sort ascending. I'm now ready to close the query editor by selecting file close and load to. If I choose close and load, it will automatically load this data onto a new sheet, which I don't want. I'm going to choose close and load to and I'm going to tell it that I want to load this into an existing worksheet and I'll put it in C1 and click OK. I can keep the original data if I want to. I don't particularly need it. So I will delete columns A and B and then I will format the existing data with larger font, uh, different colors and so on and so forth. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Did you know I have a free newsletter and you can have it delivered straight to your inbox? Sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.